Welcome to Frugal Family Gardens. My name is Julie. Let's go look at what is happening this spring in the yard. Look at this. Oh, they're beautiful. You gotta love volunteers. Well, good ones, not weeds and stuff. Yes, you are. Oh, good. That's awesome. And the bleeding hearts. Oh, yeah. Bing, bing. The bleeding hearts are coming up through this mess that is the new shade garden in progress. And the hookara are there, but there are weeds that need to be pulled. I missed showing you some of the other blooms, so we don't want to miss what's left. Here on this peach tree, hold on baby, still has gorgeous blooms. And the cherry tree still has beautiful blooms. All the rest seem to be on their way to leaves and they're doing their thing. <sighs> we will come out and do a further assessment later, but oh my gosh, my rose has totally come back in force. That's one that I had thought was dead, but then realized, oh no, it still had a little part alive. And now this year, good Lord, it's huge. That's wonderful. Let's don't think about how much weeds and, and nonsense there is to do. Let's just... <laughs> not yet. No, not yet. Oh, my maple tree is doing really well. Eventually... Which one's the maple tree? The one right here. The middle uh -huh. skinny one? Yep. Eventually, there's going to be a lot of shade out here. And like, um, we can get maple juice, right? Um, I don't know if it's one that does that. Yeah. Oh, I guess that cherry tree... Or not cherry, um, peach tree still has some blossoms on it. Yeah, and the one way, way back, but I'm not going to go back there because that's where the um, ground wasp nest was, and I don't want to take any chances today. The mountain looks beautiful. Yeah, it does. It's but we also have... surrounded by mountains. It is. We have so much of these nasty weeds and stuff to pull. Let's not... Remember, not thinking. Yeah, about. that's right. Mimi's right. We're not thinking oh, that about like that right now. Something. So much to do, but also so much to just appreciate and enjoy. Play football. Yeah, we could. <sighs> and look what is happening out here. Yes, there are dandelions. I'm willing to leave just a few for the bees. But oh my goodness, look at these. The colors. <gasps> Spring. And I have been so busy that I have not gotten out here to see these. It's just, we've all of a sudden had a few really sunny days which aren't going to last. It's going to cool right back down here soon. But because of those sunny days, all of this is just jumping out and doing what it's doing. This started out as just one bulb. So one tulip some years ago. And now look at that. Isn't that wonderful? The hyacinths, they're finishing up their thing. I have got to get the framework out here. I have it for that, but I need to get the framework out for the hollyhocks there and the peonies here so that they won't be falling over. Got all kinds of beautiful things happening over here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I only have white daffodils anymore. I used to have yellows and oranges, but for some reason those are all gone. And now I just have the white ones. I'm going to take some of them and move them out to the white memorial garden out in the wonderland eventually probably you know oh this fall i'll need to mark where they are and then pull some of those to go out there and then probably add in add back in some some yellows and whites or no sorry yellows and oranges for next year look at these aren't those glorious and then there's that new little rose bush right there that's one we planted last fall. Lots of weeds to take care of. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Oh, is that a June bug already? What's that doing here? Little monster. But there are beautiful things happening. Even amidst the weeds, there are beautiful things. And all this gorgeous candy tuft. Oh, I love it. I do. I just love it. Feels so good having everything just coming back to life and blooming. 
in the midst of all the just madness and nonsense, this really, it just lifts your spirits. It really does. I just love those purple ones. That's another. It started out as just one, and now, yeah, has a whole little family. Got that little mini rose that I planted last year and the hollyhocks. We're not starting any watering yet because of the storm that's coming this weekend. There's just not a need. <sighs> we'll have to get some other stuff going on in here. The perennial ones, they'll start doing their thing, but we do have places to kind of fill in. And then the strawberries that I moved into the dumpster salvage pot are doing well. I did get some marigold seeds that I'm gonna add in here and kind of in and amidst the strawberries. I read somewhere that they were good companion plants. So there's a little bit of an update on the spring gardens here at the Frugal Family Home.